impressive swing, ladies and gentlemen. What about that? Okay, so maybe we get the place over for a chat. Uh, are you going to come over, lads? They have to take out the batteries out of, out of uh, Derek. <laughs> 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 Hi, Mary. How are you? Hi, Oh, good to see you. Thank oh, you, you very much. Good, 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 good to see you. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Oh. I was going for the second one there. Do you not do that down the country? No? <laughs> In Dublin, no, girl. <laughs> Guys, that was fantastic. You always bring a bit of energy and a smile to everyone's faces. And that's the... It is, am I right, the first time you've ever performed that song in, in public? Yes, that's actually the first time we've performed the song in public, Brendan. It was sent to us about three years ago by a gentleman called... That's right, yeah. It was sent to us by a man called Lee Lynch, actually. And we never heard it before. And, but the minute we got it in an email and heard it, we said, God, we could really do something with this. And that's what it turned out to be like. And it's, it's gone down really, really well. And we're actually going to be doing it for the first time live then tomorrow night, down by where you're from, actually down the road to Town Park Hotel in Cork. Excellent. And uh, so we're going to be really, we're on, we're on Mike Denver's tour at the moment. So we're looking forward to doing that down there tomorrow Great stuff. Night. So t t three years ago when that song was sent to you, so that was just when you kind of first came to prominence, really? That's right, yeah. We, we got so many songs like via email mail at the time from people yeah. and uh, you know we still even haven't gone through all of them Brendan but there were a couple that you know really stood out you know yeah. so this was one in particular. I'd, I'd say Mary you didn't even think yourselves three years ago that you'd still be going strong the way, as popular as you are three years on did you? No we didn't Brendan <laughs> no <laughs> you know I mean we, we couldn't have envisaged it you know because it, it literally happened overnight for mm. us you know but I suppose we've worked very very hard oh, I mean I've worked over the years in you know in always in performing myself and um, you know it was their ultimate dream so yeah, yeah we, we have been living the dream in the past three years and we're still here Brendan still living the <laughs> and, dream. Still, and we intend to be around for a long time <laughs> And listen, I know it's, it's a big year for, for the girls because, Mary, nobody would believe this, but you have a significant birthday this year, am I right? <laughs> a significant one, all right. I'm going to be turning 50 later in the 50. year. Can you believe yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> but, um... No, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, I suppose no. everybody would like to hold back the ageing process and not get old and, you know, uh, for maybe for health issues, uh, you know, occurring in the future and that. And uh, obviously the little wrinkles and all of that getting worse. But um, I don't see any wrinkles. Uh, thank you, Brendan. <laughs> Are you on the Botox, Mary, I'd say? Are you? No, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Is there, pr is there pressure on now from the kids? Now we have to get into Botox now, Mary. I've had nothing added or nothing taken away, Brenda. <laughs> I'm still all entirely intact. But um, you know what? My mother is 92 almost. And when I look at her, you know, she still re looks really, really good. And uh, I mean, I can't say, it, it, like I wouldn't uh, in any way say it's not for other women. That's their choice. Yeah. But for me, I, I don't plan to go down that road. Because, Unless you have uh, the good genes you want. You want <laughs> yeah. And, and Dervly, you're turning 21 this year. Yeah, I'm turning 21 in May, Brendan. So it's a, it's a big turning point for me as well, I suppose. Yeah. Like I won't say when I, when I wake up, my birthday is on the 7th of May and like when I wake up on that morning I'm not obviously going to feel totally different but I have noticed a lot in the last year how much I have matured I suppose though and like I know it's only a couple of years since the whole thing kind of started for yeah. us but my whole kind of outlook and things has changed I know I'm very kind of focused and driven now and I really you want kind of, you were the rebel really a bit like in that you, you kind of slightly resented that it took away your teenage years a little bit you would have a little a, bit. Yeah. Um, I suppose being in school and stuff, you know, you hear your friends and they'd say, oh, are you going to Sarah's party at the weekend? Darren, I just, I say, you know, no, I can't go. And, uh, you know, deep, deep down, I suppose I was a bit, um, you know, annoyed I couldn't. But now the way I look at it is, you know, this is my job. You know, it's what I do and I'm really, I'm, I'm loving it now and I'm very focused. And this is what I feel I was born to do, so... Yeah. Well, listen, you're very lucky, to be, doing, lucky to be doing what you were born to do. Yeah, on, yeah and I believe I believe there is love as well. Oh, there is love as well. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have um, I have someone special in my life. All right, his name's Tim, and he only lives like ten minutes down the road from me, That's so we handy, couldn't be it? any nearer. Yeah. And um, he's is, and is he in showbiz? No, he's a farmer. He is the total <laughs> opposite. <laughs> yes. 
every pose of whiskey. <laughs> he is, and he's very busy at the moment, actually, with all his lambs and everything. So, you know, he kind of... It's true, though. You may laugh, but it's very true. We he's both have busy looking lives. after the lambs. For God's <laughs> sake, will he stop? Um, you know, I suppose, like, my, my life sometimes... You know, I'm not around at weekends and stuff like that, and he's very understandable about the whole thing, and he's just great. And I do want to say a big hello to his sister, Mary. I know that she's watching tonight, and she was really excited to see us. So, hello to all the O'Connor family. <laughs> very good. But, you know, I, talking to Daryl there about, yeah. you know, getting... Uh, now that I'm almost 50 at the end of the year, I feel much more confident now, Brendan, than I did when I was 20, you know? Really? Yeah, uh, yeah because when I was about 20, I was, I was quite shy inside. I might, people mightn't have realised that, but I was, yeah. you know, a bit shy. And uh, whereas now I, I feel very... At, back then, maybe people that might have been in better professions or I always felt maybe a little bit inadequate, you know, beside people. Um, whereas now I feel I could talk to anybody and I feel totally at one with everybody, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, you see, um, Cork people go between... In Inferiority yeah. complex and a superiority complex. That's right. so, sometimes at the, both at the same time. You exactly, know? That's, that's how, yeah. how it works. Yeah. I suppose we kind of know we're superior, but we feel bad about it, and it's, we're, we're conflicted. Yeah. Derek, how are you? We, be, we barely get to talk here with the two of no, no, you. Anyone stopped. special in your life? No, I'm still single, free, and single. Yeah. 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 I am indeed, yeah, I'm and listen, But listen, I believe that you're, you are focusing your attentions now on the <laughs> Donegal and north of the border area in the search for women. You've discovered a, a great scene I've, up I've there, I've discovered yeah? a completely new life altogether up there, Brenda. We're not living life at all down here like what they live it up there. It's, and it's <laughs> Tell us what's going on up there. Well, like the people, people down here don't realise how big music is up the country, and for live bands especially. And like there's venues in like Bundorn, Letterkenny, and Order as well, all around the place. There's Donegal people up the back there, anyway. It's eh? yeah, but it's yeah, we, we keep them up, up the back. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> the nightlife has gone unbelievable. Like I'm mad into jiving and I love dancing and all that kind of thing. But you'd never think that it's got back to the days of like eight and nine hundred young people, all under the age of maybe 30, 35, in dancing and dancing to country music, to rock and roll, and like the so old we're back thing. To of, the kind of we're days back of to the, the old days. Kind it is. Of it hasn't really. It, it's spreading down here, and it is coming down, but it's really, really up there at the moment. And like, it's you'd never tell. Like, I go into them dances. Because when and I you see the young people, people, I see them falling out of nightclubs drunk, and I don't think most of them are able to drive <laughs> and that right. kind of thing. No, like these will travel maybe two hours to see their favourite bands and everything, you know, like that. And uh, like we perform to all these in yeah. these places and perform right. for these young people. But when I get the chance, I go up, I get to enjoy it. And you'd never think it would back to the days of asking a girl out and saying, would you like to dance? And like, I think that's nice compared to going yeah. into a disco and maybe finding someone else, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> and tell me, would it, be a, would it be a kind of a drinking scene? No, not, no, it wouldn't be. Obviously, you're going to have people drinking as well and that, but it's people go for the dancing and they go for the music, and that's what I go for myself, and they're just really, really into it, and hopefully it keeps spreading down along here, because, and if, for anybody out there, what camera? If anyone out there who wants a good night out and wants to have some fun, I seen Hector was on as well there one night, and he was saying, and it's really, really true, go to a dance, go to your local venue, and just see what happens there, and I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed, especially but, but, the single but, okay, lads out there. There's loads of women lads. Okay, good loads night. Of <laughs> now, Mary, I have to ask you, are your children really as wholesome as they present themselves? Do they fall in drunk to you every night? Are they really like this? I wonder. Well, the, yeah, they're, ver they're very good, but they can be a bit irritating at times, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> yeah. you know? I can't imagine that. Yeah, well, since... And I was just going to say how great you were. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um... Like, Dervla, like, since Tim has come on board now, you know, he's bought her a uh, beautiful, t you know, t hey, HD TV and for her room. He's also bought her, you I know, see. a fantastic phone with earphones. I knew and the farmers had money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she's totally zoned out, you know, Brendan. Like, uh, you know, you call her Dervla just and she's just... Sound very focused. At least, <laughs> listen, Mary, at least she's only up watching the HD TV yeah, up in the room. Yeah, <laughs> He sounds like an honourable individual, if you ask me. It's, it's a ladder up to the room you should be worried about. <laughs> and, but listen, I believe Derek different. has his voices as well. I have my what? You, you have your voices as well, don't you? My You're voices. Not, not voices, voices, Derek. Yeah, voices. <laughs> voices? The bed. <laughs> this, he needs to be re This teacher is hopefully I believe you're into old tractors, Oh, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have. That. No, I have. I am. I'm yeah, a big I, into I, the vintage like tractor. I'm not used to these city yeah? twangs at all. Like. <laughs> <laughs> 
Martin, man. So anyway, yeah, tell oh us, yeah, we're into, actually oh yeah. into vintage tractors. Oh yeah, we're into vintage tractors. I've one that's 43 years old, and then I have another one that's, jeez, must be this 60, 65 years old. This is not a euphemism for anything, by the way. And He's uh, actually talking about tractors. Tractors, yeah. tractors For yeah. any leads out there, there's one, there's a, I have a Ford 4000, then I have one that's about 60 years old, and that's not going yet, but it's uh, a diesel. And, you, and you're doing them up yourself for that kind I'm, of thing, well, yeah. Trying to do up that one anyway, but is, and uh, is there a bit of a progress. scene for the old vintage tractors out oh, there? Oh, there is. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all over the place. And I go on tractor runs there. A lot of my friends are into the tractors and all that, and there could be two or three hundred tractors on them. And we just go out for the spin. This isn't a good day of eating, really. We do nothing but eat, but uh, it's a good old crack and a good old day out. <laughs> Very good. I can hear. I hear. I hear as well, you're rarely out of the pub then when you're yeah, at home, I know is that right? There, there, there's more people Ask me, I have to turn into the drink in a big way. I'm done playing darts every night now as well. I play a lot of darts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be blown Monday to Friday playing darts blow on the pub for I believe around. you went away and joined the, the darts, darts team behind your back, is that right? I did, Brendan, I didn't realise it actually <laughs> until the, the researcher told me the other day on the phone and she said, do you realise Derek is after joining the darts club <laughs> locally? Like, you know? He's obsessed but, with them now, sure. We'd be travelling around the country now and he has his little box of darts everywhere he goes <laughs> and he'd be looking for a pub. I was, He's I was asking half a carry in Shannon board. one day looking for one. <laughs> and it's true. And lo looking, for a, looking for a game against the local fellow. Oh, well, if there was some fellow wanted to take me. I'm usually yourself, for practice you? in that, but if somebody wanted to play, I'd play. I'm not much good, right. but I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> All right, that sounds like a shark talking to me. Yeah. You run around the country. Ah, listen, I'm not very good with the darts. Yeah. Would I have a game? Would we put a few quid in it? Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I suppose Lose we would. the first <laughs> and win the next two. <laughs> but listen, the, the, the thing is, you are, you, are, you are lovely. And I think a lot of people say kind of, in a way, innocent kind of people. Like, Derek, your pastimes, aren't they? But they are. In the modern Come again, world, where people are so cynical that, like, it is quite innocent to see a fellow who is like, you know, into the dancing, not mad at under. You don't see many young fellas like that anymore. I think mm. it's lovely, but yes, well, I know that what underpins a lot of that is is that your faith. Mary, you talked about your faith here, here before, and, yeah. and it's, it is very important to you, isn't it? Yeah, I have a very strong faith, Brendan, and uh, Our Lady, and, you know, the Sacred Heart, I pray a lot to them. And really, they carry me through my life, you know, um, carry us through our life, really, through good times and bad times. Yeah. And I'd encourage Derek and Darrell often there, before we go on stage, we'd always say a little Hail Mary. And, yeah. um, and you know, some, and I've I've had many graces given to me, you know, uh, through my prayers. I firmly believe that. But uh, and you know, I don't feel one bit deserving of it because I I feel I'm so imperfect in ways, and I'm a sinner like everybody else. Of and, course, uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, definitely pray. And I think you know, people in public life, people that have faith and that, I think they shouldn't be. I think some people now feel that it's a little bit you know, uncool, or maybe they're just yeah. a little bit afraid to admit that, you know, that they have faith. But I think people shouldn't be, you know, because it's, it's all good, and a few prayers never hurt anybody. I'd never shove Certainly my faith not. down anybody's throat, and I, yeah. I, I, I respect everybody and everything. But, uh, yeah, I have a very strong faith, and it, again, it is I keeping us going. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, I, and again, like, and I didn't mean innocent at all, Derek, in a kind of a pejorative oh, way, like, <laughs> and, like, the idea that you would, as a family, pray before you go out to do the, the gigs as well, you know? Yeah, we're it's, just, it's, we're, it's not, we're a normal family, do you know what? That kind of way. Yeah. We came into this, like we never asked to come into the, you know, like yeah. that. We didn't ask for everybody to look at us on YouTube, and that just happened, you know. And yeah. mm. I don't like, you know, there's obviously a lot of famous people and yeah. that, and it goes to their heads and they wouldn't talk to people. But people like to be, like, we could sing there for two hours in a gig, but it's when you have a one on chat with somebody and maybe a person can say, How are you doing, Mary, or something yeah. like that. And it's that one on one connection. That's when you really, really make your friends. It's not the singing, it's that's when you make the connection. And we talk to anyone, and that's the way, and that's the way we like to do it, you know. Yeah, and listen, be before you go, there's some. Dervla, I hear you're getting quite into gospel music now, yes? Well, I suppose, n not even gospel music as such, but I suppose, like, let's say a lot of people watching home now tonight will say, you know, they know Crystal Swing mostly for He Drinks Tequila and the Huckle Book. Yeah. And I suppose you really need to come along to see the live show. I, I personally love doing songs on my own. Yeah. And we are a group, but I love being individual as well. And I like to do some of the bigger numbers as well. And at the moment, we're on tour with Mike Denver, as we said. And yeah. I'm singing a song called How Great Thou Art. And I the, wouldn't the brag about yeah, myself yeah. in any way at all. Yeah. I, don't even, I don't like bragging about myself at all, but 
no Wait, word on, of a lie. You, just give us a blast of it there, so to give us an idea of okay, it. Okay, I'll yeah. give you I'll give you a blast of it. Yep. Sure, we'll just do a little bit. At the end of the night, Brendan, and it's unbelievable. Some people say they, they're actually crying cry. after seeing you know, her. Like, okay. so it means See if a you lot, can make so. me cry. Come on. <laughs> well, I'd say no. I don't know. I'll be able to do that to you, Brendan. Right. I'm a very weepy person. Come on. <laughs> My God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the world thy hands have made, then sings my soul. Savior, go to thee. How great thou art! How great thou art! Then sings my soul, my Savior, go. How great thou art, how great thou art. Fantastic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Crystal Swing. And Crystal Swing, the best of Crystal Swing is out now, and also the Crystal Swing story is out on DVD. All right, coming up after.